Hi, boys and girls. Welcome back to Pajama Preschool with Mrs. Mongarero. It's story time. Today's story is called The Best Nest. Before we start, did you ever know that there are animals besides birds that build nests? Raccoons, skunks, and squirrels also build nests in trees and in tall grasses on the ground. Mice and rats build nests to have their babies. Did you also know that every day a gorilla makes a brand new nest in the grasses where they live to sleep at night? They have to build their own bed every night. Crocodiles and alligators also make nests to lay their eggs. Even turtles and fish make nests. Fish make nests sometimes using algae. They grow the algae and lay their eggs in it and they chase away anybody who comes near their little algae nest. Even snakes make nests to lay their live babies and eggs. The best nest. Let's get started. The Best Nest by P.D. Eastman. The Best Nest, written and illustrated by P.D. Eastman. What does illustrated mean? They drew the pictures. Mr. Bird was happy. He was so happy he had to sing. This is Mr. Bird's song. I love my house, I love my nest. In all the world, my nest is best. Then Mrs. Bird came out of the house. It's not the best nest, she said. I'm tired of this old place, said Mrs. Bird. I hate it. Let's look for a new place right now. So they left the old place to look for a new one. This place looks nice, said Mr. Bird. Let's move in here. But somebody else had already moved in. So they looked at another house. This one looks nice, said Mr. Bird. There's nobody in it. You're wrong, said Mrs. Bird. This house belongs to a foot. So they went on looking. I like this one, said Mr. Bird. It has a pretty red flag on the roof. I've always wanted a house with a flag, said Mrs. Bird. Maybe this place will be all right. But it was not all right. I guess I made a mistake, said Mr. Bird. You make too many mistakes, said Mrs. Bird. I'm going to pick the next house. And here it is, right here. They flew in. They looked around. Isn't it too big, asked Mr. Bird. I like this place, said Mrs. Bird. This is the place to build our new nest. <clears throat> they went right to work. They needed many things to build their nests. First, they got some hay. They got some soda straws and broom straws. They got some sweater string. They got some stocking string and mattress stuffing. They got some horse hair. They got some man hair. Soon, they had all the hay, all the straw, all the string, all the stuffing, all the horse hair, and all the man hair they could carry. They took it back to their nest. Mr. and Mrs. Bird worked very hard. It took them the rest of the morning to finish their nest. This nest is really is the best, said Mrs. Bird. I want to stay here forever. 
Mr. Bird was very happy too. He flew to the top of his house. He sang his song again. I love my house, I love my nest, and all the world our nest is best. He was so busy singing, he didn't see Mr. Parker coming. Every day at 12 o'clock, Mr. Parker came to the church. Mr. Parker came to pull a rope. The rope went up to the bird's new nest. The rope rang the bell right under Mrs. Bird's nest. Boing, boing, boing. Mrs. Bird got out of there as fast as she could. Bong, bong, bong. When Mr. Bird came in, all he could see was a mess of hay and string and stuffing and horse hair and man hair and straws. Where was Mrs. Bird? I will look for her until I find her, said Mr. Bird. He looked high. He looked low. He looked everywhere for Mrs. Bird. He looked down into a chimney, but Mrs. Bird wasn't there. <clears throat> he looked down into the water barrel, but Mrs. Bird wasn't there. <clears throat> then he saw a big fat cat there was a big fat smile on the cat, fat cat's face. There were some pretty brown feathers near the cat's mouth. Mr. Bird began to cry. Oh dear, he cried. This, this big fat cat has eaten Mrs. Bird. <coughs> Mr. Bird flew off. I'll never see Mrs. Bird again, he cried. It was getting dark. It began to rain. It rained harder and harder. Mr. Bird could not see where he was going. <clears throat> Crash! Mr. Bird bumped into something. It was his old house. That old, old house that Mrs. Bird hated. I'll go inside, said Mr. Bird. I'll rest here until the rain stops. <clears throat> Mr. Bird went in. And there was Mrs. Bird, sitting there singing. I love my house, I love my nest, and all the world the nest is best. You here? Got Mr. gasped Mr. Bird. I thought you hated this old nest. <clears throat> Mrs. Bird smiled. I used to hate it, she said, but a mother bird can change her mind, you see. There's no nest like an old nest for a brand new bird. And when the egg popped open, the new bird thought so too. The end. That was a great book. So just remember, do only birds make nests? Mm -mm. Snakes, turtles, alligators, crocodiles, skunks, raccoons, squirrels, fish, and gorillas make nests. And many others too. Thanks for joining me. Until next time. Bye-bye.